Hey y'all, it's Tracy with Mama's Comfort Cooking and today I come to show you how to make a homemade chicken pot pie. First I want to show you the ingredients that I am going to use today so that you will be prepared and you can go to the grocery store and get just what you need. Let's get started. First, I've diced up four boneless skinless chicken breasts. Four boneless skinless chicken breast and I did this because they're easier to cook I'm going to saute these and half a stick of butter and use the different seasonings that I have added for it to have the flavor that I want we'll go over the seasonings in a minute okay next I'm going to turn it down so you can see the remaining ingredients that I'm going to use is that all right let me pull you in just a little closer so here I'm using frozen mixed frozen vegetables i'm using mixed frozen vegetables and this is a pound okay this is a pound all right i'm trying to get you in really good let me turn it some more okay i'm using a pie crust i'm going to use both of these pie crusts they're two ready to bake nine inch pie crusts i'm going to lay them out and i'm going to roll them out so that they can come together Okay, I'm going to use a deep dish, a deep dish pan. This is deep. It's a deep dish. I don't know uh, what the measurement is in this. Okay, the next ingredient, I'm just going to use this for my ingredients right now. I'm using a can of sweet corn. I'm using the 2.5 ounce, which is one pound of um, cream of chicken. I'm using one large family size chicken noodle. I am going to use celery, onions, half a stick of butter. I'm using Lando Lakes, half a stick of butter. I'm using a third of oil. And I'm using seasonings. These seasonings are a combination of all purpose, everything but salt table blend um, by mrs dash and a combination of uh, celery seed salt parsley flakes and i used a little basil these are my seasonings that i have in my third of cup okay these seasons are going directly on the chicken these are the ingredients plus i am using 32 ounces of chicken broth which is equivalent to four cups are y'all ready to get started? Let's get started making this chicken pot pie. Those are the ingredients that you would need. Let's get started making this chicken pot pie, shall we? So in this cast iron skillet, come a little closer. Come on over here. And the cast iron skillet is where we're going to begin. I've already got it on warm. So the first step I'm going to do is use my butter. So let me turn it down for you. And I'm cooking the chicken in butter because it will make the chicken become tender. Okay, I just have this on warm right now. Just on warm. I'm going to turn it up a little bit so that the butter can melt. Cooking the chicken in butter will make the chicken cook faster and will make it be more tender. So that has got to melt. Uh, melt. That is step one, melting the butter for the chicken. All right, now we need to go to step two. I've got to turn this up as well. Step two, we're going to add the canola oil into this pot. Okay, this is a third cup of canola oil. The vegetables are going to go here. We're going to sweat the onions and we're going to sweat the celery. That is what we're doing. So let's get the celery and the onions added in there. Celery and onions. You can use as many as you like. There's not really... Uh, that was just a half a cup of onions that I had that was remaining in this container. If you feel like you want more, depending on how much you're making, you can add more, okay? And this is my celery. 
I'm using the same amount, about half a cup. We're going to sweat this down, turn it up, and then once they begin to sweat, here is where we're going to add the frozen vegetables, the mixed frozen vegetables, and the chicken broth, okay? It's already starting to warm up, so as it starts to sweat, let's get right back over here again and take a look at what is going on with the butter. So we're going to make sure that this gets to melting just like it needs to. And we're gonna add the chicken. So while I'm waiting for that butter, I'm gonna season that chicken. Now I'm gonna use my hands, I'll wash my hands later. You can use gloves, but I wanna coat this chicken. Because remember, when you eat this chicken pot pie, you don't want the chicken not to have any flavor. So I'm going to use all that third cup of seasoning that I had. And it was all purpose. It was some basil, it parsley, and it was everything but salt by Mrs. Dash. Table blend by Mrs. Dash. And I used some garlic powder and some onion powder. That's it. I probably am going to add just a little bit of um, paprika in here for coloring. But it doesn't have any flavor unless it was smoked. And so I'm not going to use it for flavor. So right now, I'm just worried about the flavor that is going to be in here. Make sure you work it in really good into the chicken, okay? Next, we're going to add the chicken to the, bu to the butter in the skillet. Remember, cooking the chicken in butter is going to cause the chicken to cook faster and it's going to be tender and it's going to hold all those seasonings in there. Um, I will add a little pepper and a little salt, but the butter has salt, so I'm going to wait to see if I need to add any more, okay? So I'm going to turn you over here while I wash my hands so you can begin to see the onions and the celery. Okay, let me go wash my hands because I have this one in chicken. not take this chicken long to cook in butter. It's going to tenderize it and it's going to cook it pretty quick. All right, they're sweating down good. So over here, we're going to add a little paprika for just to make it look even more um, golden. I'm going to add a little pepper. Still not going to add any salt because the butter has salt. So I will add just a little pepper to your liking. And it's going to get started. This is how we're going to start off our amazing homemade chicken pot pie. Alright. So once we've sweated these onions, we're going to bring you right back over here for a minute. Once we sweated these onions like we want them and the celery. Now we're getting ready to add our vegetables, and our chicken stock. 
So we're gonna add that family size pack or pound of mixed vegetables. It has corn in it, it's frozen. It has corn, it has green beans in there. And it has carrots. You can use can, but sometimes I find that the can um, will be a little too soft. Next, we're gonna add our um, chicken broth in here, okay? That's 32 ounces, which is four cups of chicken broth. We're about to add that into here. Here we go. I'm gonna put a top on it, get it going real good. Let's come over here and check our chicken. And then we're gonna go to the next step. We're gonna dice up some potatoes. And we're gonna cook this chicken on top of the stove. When we come back, we're going to get ready for the next steps of this homemade chicken pot pie. Once you know that your chicken is done, and here's how you can tell if your chicken is done. And I meant this turned out golden and beautiful. You can cut into it. Find one of the biggest pieces that you have. This has nothing to it. It's, it's just as dense. And I cut right through that chicken. Let me pull you up on that Find the biggest piece of chicken you can find, the biggest piece in here, and just cut into it. If you can cut into it just like I just did, then your chicken is ready, okay? Chicken is ready. Just stick your fork in there and pull it apart, your spoon. So now we've got to this point, we're going to add... The Cream of Chicken by Campbell's. Mm -mm -mm. Let's add our cream of chicken. This is a family size can. Get all of it out. Cream of chicken. We're putting our cream of chicken in. Work it up in there. We want to keep it thick. We want it thick, okay? We're gonna work it up in there. Get all that to marry together. And we wanna keep it as thick as we possibly can. So it doesn't have to really uh, cook long or warm up long because um, it's going in the pie. But we wanna get it in there to get some of those nice, delicious um, flavors off of that chicken. over here in this pot we're going to add our potatoes I diced up potatoes and I'm adding them into my pot I just used some Idaho potatoes I'm now going to add some salt and pepper remember I didn't use any seasonings in this so this is the first time going around with seasonings on here Put me a little salt and pepper in my potatoes. And I waited 15 minutes because I wanted to make sure that the, the frozen vegetables were done or almost done. So now we're going to put a lid on there for the next good 10 minutes and let it finish cooking. And when we come back, we'll see the next step. Look at that chicken over there. Next step coming. Next, I'm going to add the um, chicken noodle soup, the family size chicken noodle soup, but I drained all the broth off. I only want the noodles and what's on the inside. So I'm gonna add that right now to the cream of chicken and my chicken. Now at this point, you can turn this off because we don't wanna overcook those. We just wanted to add them into what's going on. I look so delicious and Tuscany so 
Let's turn this off and we'll go to the next steps. Here's the final step as far as the vegetables are concerned. 10 minutes later and everything is ready, including the potatoes. Now we love corn, so I'm gonna add that extra corn in there. It doesn't need to be cooked because it's canned corn. I have taken two, pay attention to this, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and I've added it to a half a cup of water. I'm gonna pour in there because I want the remaining juice to be thick. Remember, we don't want our chicken pot pie runny, but we want it thick. So I'm gonna add all this goodness in there. And it's just gonna form to become thick. Then we'll be ready to put this delicious chicken pot pie uh, together. Yeah, we didn't wanna waste that chicken stock, okay? That was some good broth in here. So instead of draining it, we kept it and we're making it thicker. We're getting ready to put everything together now. It's time to put everything together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off. I've sprayed my deep dish. And over here, I want you to see how thick the gravy got. So I'm going to dip from here first. That good gravy and the potatoes. This is the easiest way, I think, for me to put it together for you. Even if I do use all of it, this is just an easier method so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna add my chicken in here. And I'm gonna stir it together. I'm gonna fold it over just like that, and I'm gonna put it in my casserole dish. Now, I am not using, um, I will not use a bottom crust in this one, and that's only because if I have some left over, or it's easier to warm up and do another top crust instead of doing a bottom crust, okay? So, are we there? Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. add some more and remember this is deep this is a deep dish so that it won't scrape I use the same one and I'm gonna add the remainder of my chicken who doesn't that look good yes it does I've got the oven set for 350 it's about to go in. I have the oven for 350. Getting all that goodness. And the land of the living. And over here, I'm gonna grab me a few more scoops. I've almost got it. just the right measurements for this deep dish. I may can use all of this. Let's just see. I hate the waste. Oh yeah, I think I did. I think I'm gonna use it all. There we go. Mm, mm. That looks so good to me. And now we're gonna put the pie crust on. I'm just gonna lay it across here. I added some extra to it. Roll it on out. That got stuck. All right. And then I'm gonna brush it with egg wash. I'm gonna punch some holes in here. And wherever I'm missing crust, I'm going to add it. I'm going to brush it. I'm going to poke some holes in here. I'm going to do this, the whole routine that we normally do. So that it'll be pretty and golden. It'll come out right. I'm going to take my edges and I'm going to fix them. And remember, it's going in the oven. 
on 350. I'm not giving any of this crust back. This crust is mine and I'm keeping it and I'm going to work on that. So when we come back, you're going to see a delicious homemade chicken pot pie. I'll see you in just a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush that. I fixed my crust and got me some little egg wash. Just in case somebody said, um, I don't know what she did. How did it get golden? I'm using egg wash. Okay. This is a homemade chicken pot pie. The egg wash is going to make it look pretty and golden. <laughs> look at that. Pretty and golden. All right. So I'll see you in a little bit. Hopefully within 25 to 30 minutes it should be done. Here's the outcome of the chicken pot pie. I um, increased it the first 15 minutes in. I took it from 350 to 450 so that it could get done within 30 minutes. Look at all that de de deliciousness. And as you can see, it is um, still bubbling. It just came out the oven. Oh, my, 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 my. Look at that chicken pot pie. Isn't that pretty? And it is deep. Let's see if I can't dig into it. It's good to let it sit a little bit, but just for the sake of time. And so that I can show y'all how good it turned out. Let's dig into it real quick, shall we? Look at this homemade chicken pot pie. I'm just going to come over here, cut into it, and let you see this goodness. But remember, it'll do so much better once it settles. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at all that goodness. Got that crust right here. Mm -mm. And y'all know I can't taste it. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to do that. But this is your chicken pot pie. Ooh, we is hot. Thank y'all so much. For watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. I love y'all. Yes, I do. See y'all later.